Hello everybody, it's Senference, um, or you can call me Sen for short. Um, right now, um, uh, so welcome to my, um, what was I calling this again? Oh yeah, I'm calling it, uh, the weekly KHA community, uh, report. So I decided I'd start doing these kind of video reports because um, the Kingdom Hearts Amino community doesn't really have much of a reach outside of the community itself. And like they do have a YouTube channel and an Instagram, but they don't really use either of those. Also, I do have to apologize for not being able to wave or anything because my motion uh, control thing isn't working very well because I think it's because of the lighting. Anyway, um, it's it was better just not to use it. So, uh, not using it. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go and introduce myself real quick. Uh, yes, I'm Severance, and it Severance is actually a character in a book that I'm writing. He's the main character, so that's where that comes from. It's 100% original. If you look up this name, you'll probably find me here on Amino. Actually where I've made the most, uh, produced the most, uh, stuff online, actually, under this name. Um, but, uh, basically, I'm just a guy that loves Kingdom Hearts. I've been playing it for years, and, uh, I've played all the games, waiting for more. I have a YouTube channel called Square Castle. I do have, you know, some, uh, Kingdom Hearts references in there every once in a while. Um, not very often, but, yeah they're in there um lots of video game references overall um it is a pretty fun channel if you want to check it out me and my brother made it but this video is not on there because um uh what do you call it um i just feel like uh this is not really part of square castle it's more of my own thing that i'm doing so that's why it's not on that channel anyway um so these are just some like personal goals I have of like attributes I want. I want to be able to have this more naturally, just in conversation, being able to help others find peace and you know help others realize their full potential. So um, you no, know, that's just two things I have. Want to a lot of psychology goes into that, but uh, I'm getting better at it. I think. Uh, at least I hope so. Um, but uh, two measurable goals I have is like making video games someday. Like I'm actually got bought a game engine last year called Pixel Game Maker. It's made by the same guys that did the do the uh, RGP uh, uh, RPG makers, and so it's actually not too bad. Um, I am just working on that. I just have to make all my assets. I mean, I don't have to, but for the type of game I'm making, I, I gotta make all my assets. Um, and then I haven't done too much on that, but I am writing a book. Uh, I got like uh, 18 chapters done, I think. I hope to make it among us someday. Don't know if that will happen, but it's just one of those things. And then uh, Steam Link. Uh, PlayStation name. Actually, this isn't 100% correct. It's actually got uh, my character's last name in there too. But you look up this, you'll find me. I mean, I'm the only one with the name Severance. Anyway. Um, then I have uh, Discord. Uh, not, I don't have my number on there. I, not, I don't really use Discord uh, often. But then here's some characters I made. Yeah, smart. Anyway, um, uh, so I am using the uh website version of the Amino to do all this, and it's not quite as good as the app, I would say, mostly because uh, like you can see, I have 128 posts, but I can only see the last 36 um posts. If I go all the way to the bottom, there's not anything to like continue on. 
There's no button down here. It's just blank to see the rest of them. Um, but the feature feed is actually better. The feature feed is better because it's only feature feed. You don't have feature feed, then latest feed. It's only feature feed. I don't know why the one on the app is like that because, I mean, you already have it. You have a separate tab for latest feed. So a little confusing, but um, one thing that doesn't work on here is following feed. It does not work at all. It will just, website just crashes every time I click on following feed. So don't click on that button. Um, but I thought I should, would just go over some highlights here. So here's an event going on with uh, the question of the month. You know, wow, are heartless necessary? I actually am one of, I think, two people. I'm not sure. Yeah, just two so far that don't think it's uh, necessary because, um, well, the reason why I think it's not necessary because of the Master Masters is being hinted as the next antagonist. If he's the next antagonist, he's very anti darkness and heartless, like very anti. And so I'm just thinking, you know, if you can have antagonists that are anti heartless and uh darkness then perhaps you don't necessarily need heartless to have bad guys in kingdom hearts i mean they're not necessary but um uh the other event is cleverin is also putting on an event that's a sticker event cleverin is also sponsoring the reward so if you want to uh try and get win something that that's where you get it um also and and there's more than just this one uh cleverin's also doing kind of a series of this then we also have the latest art piece that's done by yuki snowflake or snowfall i mean sorry not snowflake um anyway um really cool art um yeah uh, other highlights I would say is like, I, I really like Ed mostly because Ed comes up with some really cool ideas and then he has also pretty informative, uh, uh, what do you call it? Posts as well. So I, um, I would say I probably should highlight, even though I haven't read, um, these, uh, role swaps, um, but they're always featured. So I, I think they gotta be pretty good for always being featured. So. Uh, I uh, if you like reading, I'm not too much of a reader, too much myself, but if you like reading, might be something you want to check out. Um, and then let's see. Um, uh, yeah, like the nice thing about this is, you know, things get lost in the feature feed, and if you want to go back and look at some posts, it's in the feature feed. You know, all the all the more popular stuff. Anyway, um, uh, so something, uh, some of your highlights was, well, I thought this was funny, the new community member, uh, Sora, but Sora has a, has bought a Sora. I, I think that's, I think that's pretty funny. Sora bought a Sora. Just think about that in like Kingdom Hearts 4. Now, Sora finds an action figure of himself and buys it. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Um, but, uh, oh, what's that? This is weird. It's not working. That's, it's weird. Well, I wish I could help out, but, um, I don't. I don't use this one very much. I do have an account with them, just don't use it very much. But I, I just think I mean, it was a better, easier place to post, honestly. Format's better, and it's all on the phone. It's got an app. So, um, yeah. Um, I don't know how to help you out there. Sorry. Um, but uh, I liked Ed's idea here because the codeless only problem I see is it I feel like it would have worked much better in a game like Recoded. I don't see where how it 
work so much in the unreality, but maybe somewhere. I don't know. But maybe there will be something like that in future games. Who knows? Something similar to that. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was one other funny thing was, does anybody remember the old Buzz Lightyear cartoon? That, that, that was something funny I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, just uh, the old robot and everything. Just, if you haven't watched it, definitely something to check out. I think it's on Disney Plus if you have that. So, um, Personally, I don't have it just because of personal reasons. I haven't really liked Disney's uh, public actions as of late. They haven't been that great. Um, so I have a disagreement with them. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we have... So I wanted to get over here to the polls because I feel like this is the best place to do report. Um, this is where people's opinions are. This is where you get to see more questions about stuff. And so, uh, like, once I... You know, like Benitez will return, and yeah, I don't think you know ours or you know on a scale of one to ten, I would say I'm at a three. Uh, it of so one being him not being there, and ten being him absolutely being there. Um, and I would say at a three, I say he has like a thirty percent chance of making it back. I I don't really think he will. Um. It seemed pretty apparent that that was the end of his thing on the last game. But that's that's why I got from it. It just seemed like it was the end of his story. Um, Another thing I thought was pretty funny, a good one to highlight, is this one. Of course, uh, should I start playing the Kingdom Hearts series or game series? Like, of course, you're gonna get 100% yes on the Kingdom Hearts Amino. <sighs> uh, that was pretty funny. Um, this one here, Aqua versus Roxas. Re my reasoning, I don't know if everybody else's reasoning is the same, but um, let's see, Sora beats Aqua, in the uh, so obviously, Sora is better than Aqua. I actually consider Roxas better than Sora only because Sora won by hair, like literally won by hair, like it, uh, or not literally, but he just barely won. If, if he only won because he caught Roxas off guard, like if Roxas actually knew about uh, that whole teleporting keyblade thing, he probably would have, would have won, probably would have won. So, yeah, um, I do consider Roxas better than Sora. And if Sora can beat Aqua, Roxas definitely can. Um, I, I consider Roxas probably the top tier Keyblade wielder. Just because he, he pretty much beat Riku too. I mean, Riku also won by using a cheat. You know, pulling some some sort use some sort of extra move that he had no idea about caught him off guard anyway um also i like this one the would you like a clothing cosmetic store in chaos 4 yes everyone says yes square enix you need to see this you need to see this and you need to do something about it because uh, it better be in the next game, honestly, because everybody wants it. Um, and then this is an actual one I wanted to get to was this one, and this one's because uh, I always just wanted to talk about why I think it will come out in twenty twenty four. The main reason, the biggest reason, I have a couple reasons, but. The biggest reason is because um, 
lately, you know, as everybody knows, Square Enix sold off a whole bunch of studios, and this pattern has been done in the past by other companies, where they're trying to get bought by another company. Everybody thinks it's gotta be Sony. Who else would Square Enix want to be bought by? They don't want to be bought by a non-Japanese company. So, of course, they don't want to be bought by Sony. Um, the only problem, though, with being bought by Sony is Kingdom Hearts. Why? Because of Disney. Sony just got out of a, you know, contract with Disney with Spider-Man. And they really didn't like having to get out of that. Like, they had some complaints along the way of trying to get out of that contract. So, I really... I really doubt Sony's going to buy uh, Square Enix if one of their biggest games is, you know, got a big connection with Disney. So, in order for Square Enix to be bought by Sony, they have to get Kingdom Hearts 4 out. Because Kingdom Hearts 4 would have to be the game to separate the series from Disney. And, of course, Square Enix is going to want to be bought by Sony sooner than later. Because the sooner they're bought, the more they'll be worth, right? They won't be worth as much the longer they wait. So, it has to be done as soon as possible. Now, my second reasoning, or third reasoning, I have three reasons, really. Uh, so, second one is uh, Tezuma is getting extra help for this. You know, or he, he had other directors before, but he's got some, you know, very successful directors uh, helping him write this next game. Specifically, ones that, one of the ones being the one that wrote the new World's Ends with you. And, the reason why that, uh, I mention that is because, um, the w World Ends With You guy did, had a very successful game, and he basically took a old series and implemented new characters and new elements into it, and so, same thing would have to happen if you're separating Disney from Kingdom Hearts is you would have to be able to do that. You would have to have very creative writing to do that. So yeah, that that director in particular will help out a lot in that regard. And then so it will help the process go faster, honestly. Um and then the other reason is right here. So the Kingdom Hearts team has not been working on a game since uh, November of, uh, 2020, and just so I can, yeah, there, get that November in there, so I hit, see, November 13th was when it was released worldwide, so, you know, at least six months or more, you know, before that, they had to get all the manufacturing done and ship it out to all the stores, all the discs, so, I would say the team had been working on Melody and Memories at least, you know, midway, you know, somewhere around July or or August at the very least. I mean, they could have been working on patches or whatever while it was still in being manufactured, all the discs and so on, and being shipped out. But, uh, you know, these guys don't stop working. After the game's done, they still need to uh, pay their bills. So, of course, they'd start working on Kingdom Hearts 4. And the other, I guess I got a fourth reason. Um, the fourth reason is they already have all the assets for the most part for Kingdom Hearts. Even though uh, Tetsunoma is directing two games, both Fall Fantasy 7 and... Um, Kingdom Hearts 4. The thing is, he directed both the games and they both came out 
within a year of each other. And he did them in three years after he had them moved to the Unreal Engine. Now they have all the assets. They don't have to create, you know, recreate characters as much. I mean, maybe more for Kingdom Hearts 4 if they're trying to go for a more realistic vibe and more of the Kingdom Hearts characters end up in, you know, Quadratum or whatever. So um, they would have to, you know, make new character models for that. But, you know... As for like the actual any cutscenes that happen in the old Kingdom Hearts reality, um, those cutscenes definitely wouldn't wouldn't need it. Hardly any update. They just update you know the graphics from Unreal Engine four to five. That's about it. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway. That's my opinion of why it's going to come out in 2024. I do believe it probably be... Oh, I do believe it could possibly come out in 2023, like, during Christmas, because that would be the only time they could sell it, and it sell well. But I think it will more likely come out in spring of 2024, just like most Kingdom Hearts games. And I think Final Fantasy VII will probably follow, uh, follow it in the summer. Anyway, um, that is my opinion. That's why I think, um, uh, what he, and, um, that is my report. That's why I think is, you know, worth noting, uh, in here so far. Oh, that's a new post. Um, but let me know what you think. Um, yeah, today's your birthday. Happy birthday. And y'all have a great week and we'll see you in the community. Bye-bye.